Well, hello, hello, my most beautiful and glamorous besties. Welcome to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. Well, in today's video, I am going to do another set of press-on nails that I have been thinking for a very long time, and I finally decided to do it, besties. And um, I decided to do this set of nails, and it is like a mashup between two set of nails that I saw on YouTube. They're from my favorite two YouTubers, and um, I just decided to do both of the ideas and mash them up into one and um, the two youtubers that I decided to do this from or like recreate I can't really say recreate because I took both of them and I decided to make one set of nails but the two youtubers are um, Lisa Cruz and Slay by J when I saw the nails that they did on their channel I just thought they were amazing and um, as you can see here I'm already getting started on doing the nails and I'm going to be using um, my McCart gel polishes in the color Blanc and Ginger. And I am going to be painting a very thin layer of this gel polish. I am doing two coats and in each layer I will be curing for 60 seconds. But um, I really love, you know, these two sets of nails. And I said I'm just going to, you know, mash them up and make one set. You know, they're completely different because... You know, Slave by Jade did the basic white and black, and um, Lisa Cruz did the color nude, and she did the outline in dark blue. So I kind of decided, you know, just you know to trust the process and see how the outcome will come out. And I really thought they came out so beautiful. So, like I said here, I am painting. A very thin layer of this beautiful gel polish in the color Blanc and in the two remaining nails I will be using the color Ginger. Okay, Bessie, so they are in the UV lamp, and here they are nicely all cured and with two coats of gel polish. And now what I'm going to do on the white nails, I am going to get my um, striper gel here from Enel Couture in the color black. I think it's the number 001. And I'm going to get my little single stand here just to help me, you know, be able to do the outline on the nail. And um, the good thing about this part of the video is that um, your lines don't have to be so straight because they do have to be a little swervy, a little wiggly. So this was the very easy part, especially on the thumb and the middle finger. Those nails were just really, really easy to do because of the size of the nail. The one where I had the hardest time was the pinky because it was so small. Um, I didn't have enough room to do the design. And it was very hard to do, you know, the lines with, you know, my my shaky self. I really couldn't, like, I don't know, I don't want to say control myself, but it was really hard because then I was smaller and I just don't have a steady hand like I used to. But here I am doing the design on the thumb. And I'm going to be quiet so you can watch and see how easy this part was.
so here are the three nails and this is how they came out now i am going to outline the back with this beautiful macaroon blue and um besties this was the hardest part of the nails um i have no idea if it was because i picked the wrong detail brush i mean this was very hard and i do want to apologize besties for being out of frame um i am so sorry that y'all won't be able to see completely you know what i'm doing but i will be showing you here and there um the only thing i can say is that once you feel comfortable and you think you're doing it right you're off you're off camera you're not showing what you're doing and that's what happened but like i said besties this was just so hard um I was I decided to use this detail brush because it was very small and I would be able to do exactly what I wanted but I don't know I think I should have just picked a longer brush I really don't know but you know I, I went ahead and, and continue using this brush another thing besties I made a really big mistake I forgot to top coat the nails so when you you know make a mess you can just wipe it off and it and that would be just so much easier but silly me i didn't do that and here i am doing this beautiful detailing blue color that is so beautiful and i think i cleaned up more than what i did right because the more i cleaned it up the more mess i made but that's okay that is okay because they came out great like i said trust the bus trust the process okay lisa learned how to speak but yeah i mean here i am getting my alcohol ready you know to clean up the mess that i made and the more i clean up the more mess i made <laughs> i guess it wasn't my day but like i said trust the process and i continued and i finished them so i'm gonna be quiet so that y'all can see the the blue detailing paint that i did here So here are the three nails already done with the macaroon blue from Model Ones. And now what we are going to do is the evil eye. And I already have my three colors set here already. And I'm going to use this large dotting tool. And we're going to start off with the, play, the big um, dot of black. And I am going to be cleaning my dotting tool every time I dip it in the new color. So that's why I have, you know, a little alcohol pad here and I also have a little dapping dish also with 91% um, 91 purple al alcohol ready for me to clean my brush. I mean, not my brush, my dotting toe. Oh, besties, and I also flash cure each color in place so that I won't mix them up. After the black dot, we are going to do the white. Trying to do an eye. And the last step with the smaller side of the dotting tool, we're going to use the blue color. Another thing, besties, if you would like to do your eyes 
somewhat bigger, the best thing to do is probably put uh, a layer of blooming gel and that would like spread out the eye a little bit more. But I didn't do that here, I kept it small. And once I am done with that, I'm going to cure it for 60 seconds in the UV lamp and I will be back. Here we are going to work on the two remaining nails which I put this beautiful ginger color. And this is an ombre gel from Eno Couture and I think it's the BB, I think it was a BB07. And what I'm going to do, I am going to put two dots of this beautiful glitter. And with the very, um, this brush that I have here, I am going to like fan out, I'm going to fan it out, all these glitters on the nail, I'm trying to make it look like, not a starburst, but like, I don't know if y'all remember, like in elementary school when they would give us like this beautiful black construction paper and we would like just color it all like firecrackers with all the different colors. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to just fan it out, get all that glitter to go everywhere, but not cover the entire nail. That's what I'm, that's why I decided to do it this way. I didn't want to cover the entire nail. And I will be doing this to both nails and I will cure them for 60 seconds in the UV lamp. So it is the bling time besties you know me i have to have some bling um this is another thing that i decided to change up a little bit um the one that lisa cruz did on her video it really did look like a complete eye um, mine looks more like half eye half dream catcher and that's what i'm gonna do here so i'm gonna put you know the rhinestone the blue one carrying in place um i did make a mistake on the the clear ones because i couldn't remember if i used the white or clear so what I did, I used two of the white and then two clear and kind of just mixed them up. And uh, yeah, and they turned out really, really pretty. And then in the gold embellishments, um, I got the ones that we got in one of our McCart boxes. And I cut them in half to make it look like the under eye. And then I got some more of the gold embellishments and I I glued them on the bottom of the, the gold circle one. And that's what makes it look like uh, a dream catcher. So you'll see that in a little bit once I am done. besties they are in the uv lamp i did top coat them they have been curing them for 60 seconds i ran out of my my car top coat so i had to use my laguna moon one so um they're ready to come out besties and here they are they're so beautiful i love them so much um and this is how they look together 
and I just think they're beautiful. They're cute together. I'm kind of sorry that I'm a little bit everywhere, um, but yeah, the video is complete. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, leave me a comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.